Using contours to identify landforms. Contour lines are imaginary lines drawn on a topographic map that join places with the same altitude. These lines show us the height, size, shape and steepness of landscape features. On South African topographic maps, contours are drawn at 20 meter intervals. The contour lines are numbered with their height. We can thus easily see the height of any feature on the map. If the numbers on the contour lines of a feature on the map are increasing, it tells us that it is an uphill slope. Conversely, if the numbers are decreasing, it indicates a downhill slope. Contour lines that are round in shape will indicate a landscape feature that is round, such as a copy. If the contour lines show an elongated shape, the landscape feature will be elongated, such as a ridge. Contour lines that are close together indicate a steep slope, while contours that are far apart show gentle slopes. Valleys have V-shaped contour lines that point uphill, while spurs have V-shaped contour lines that point downhill. Spurs are the higher lying areas located between valleys. The closer the contours are together, the steeper the valley. Where the contours are very close, they form a gorge. Convex slopes have contours that are close together at lower heights, becoming further apart as you move upslope. Concave slopes have contours further apart at lower heights, becoming closer together as you move upslope. A stepped slope has alternating sets of contours that are close together, the rise of the step, and far apart, the flat of the step. A scarp is a rapid rise from one level to another and is therefore indicated by contours that are close together. A cliff is a vertical slope and is indicated by contours that are superimposed. If a river flows over a cliff, it forms a waterfall. Mesas and buttes are flat-topped mountains. They have contours close together near the top of the slope and there are no contours at the top, as they are flat. A mesa has a larger flat top than a butte. A saddle is a gentle dip between two high points, while a pass is a dip that is low enough to afford an easy route through it.